Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and this is the daily scan for Monday, December 3rd, 2012. Well, it's pretty warm this morning in Columbus, Ohio. About 57 degrees when I got up this morning. And a little misty, rainy kind of stuff, but it's definitely better than the white stuff, at least for right now. Let's take a look at where we are with our open positions. This is Apple, looking pretty good. Um, collecting about eight bucks a day right now, theoretically. Let's go check the chart. Uh, this is our break even down here, 561.10. And we're not seeing anything that would be alarming. We're above our 50 MA on the weekly and the long term, so that's good. We'll just hang in there and just monitor. CF Industries are up a little bit on this one right now. We're, um, 300 is the max, so we're going to be keeping an eye on this one if it moves up a little bit more. And it certainly could do that. Break even is uh, 194.01 way down here. We got into this trade on this date, 1120, and we're doing good. Salesforce.com, doing pretty good. They had their earnings, big shoot up, and I got in uh, with a break even below that gap, so we should be okay with that. Looks like it uh, may be moving back up on all stochastics so that's good Google uh, I don't have anything mark here but I did say here that the alert was set at uh, 690 a little hard to read been thinking about going back to the black charts rather than the white ones I don't know if uh, if anybody has an opinion I would appreciate it if you just let me know but um, I thought the white charts were better if somebody wants to print something, but I'm not printing anything, so I may go back to the black ones because all the colors look a lot better on the black ones. But anyway, um, you know, we may be uh, looking at a possible um, overbought situation here, but on the weekly we're still looking good, and that's why we got in on this was because of the weekly. And uh, stochastics over here is just bouncing around that 80 line. That's a lot. That's powerful. And uh, the MACD's moving up. MACD's up here. MACD's moving up down here. So, so far everything is looking pretty good. As long as Washington doesn't do anything crazy, we should be okay with most of these. MasterCard. Boy, we're way down here with our break even. So this is looking pretty good too. And this is. Um, getting approaching 80% um, of our max here too so we'll be keeping an eye on that one uh, and the, from the profit temp portfolio perspective let's change this over to that account and we'll take a look at where we are I added some positions I added the January positions last week on the queues and I also added a January rut or Russell 2000 cash index position because there just wasn't uh, any volatility and the um, queues for January and I paid about 12 or 13 percent of, of commissions compared to maximum gain or maximum credit I guess you could say on this I wasn't real happy about that so I threw a little bit of rut in there and I and I'm uh, been kind of following uh, Donnie Kaufman on the Thinker Swim um, uh, Swimmers Forum or um, swim lessons that he does daily, and he's been running this portfolio almost uh, solely with RUT, and I'm, I've been impressed with it, and it's similar to the Profit Tip portfolio. So I'm uh, trying some of his strategy here, and this is that position. Now you can see it's down right now, but I just put it on. I'm not worried about it. We're well within uh, standard deviation here. Got a little room to the downside. 
so I'm pretty happy with that. All right, uh, quick look at the market, and I just wanted to point something out. I um, blogged the Tasty Trade, and I get an email every day from Tom Sosnoff where he, you know, reviews the previous day and looks at, you know, some strategic uh, technical points for today, and he was talking about Friday being a classic inside day. Let's zoom in a little bit on that. Now, my uh, candlestick theory for an inside day, and that's a candlestick term is inside day, and in candlestick, classic Japanese candlestick theory, it's called um, an a harami, and there's bullish haramis and there's bearish haramis. This would, uh, I imagine he's probably saying that this would be a bearish harami, which means that um, it's a reversal or a harami is a very key uh, reversal pattern. <clears throat> and by definition, it's after a long run up, you get a large white candle, which would be this candle here, would be large. And this one would be smaller and fully contained within this candle here, and it would be a red candle. Well, by definition, that's not it. So I thought, let's look back and see if we can find one. And this first one that caught my eye was this one right here. Now, this would be a bearish harami, or a bearish inside day, or an inside day, by definition. This isn't all that large of a white candle, but it is a white candle. And this is a red candle, and it is fully contained, fully, including the wicks, within the body of this white candle. So that would be a strong reversal indicator. And sure enough, we got a reversal. And sure enough, you know what? This is the high this high here is that this bubble for showing the high is the high that's on the length of this chart and this chart is a one year daily chart like it says here so over the last 365 days 1468 is the high point and you can see that we are currently at 1416 so it was a good indicator for that just a little bit of candlestick stuff for you. I'm not a real big candlestick person. So I'm not going to claim to uh, be an expert on it. And I don't generally look for inside days or specific candlestick patterns. If I see something that looks like it might be a reversal on my indicators, I might look to see if there's a candle that gives me an additional confirmation. But that's about it. All right, let's take a real quick look here at the VIX. And I'm still uh, messing around with trying to figure out if there's money that can be made when the VIX isn't going anywhere. And I'm not sure that I can do it, but I think I'm going to be coming out with uh, an additional video soon to talk about it a little bit. But it's just not going anywhere. And, and these calendars uh, in the video that I'm going to make... Um, this particular calendar, I'll, I'll show you some things that could be good about it. Been reading up a little bit about the VIX. Uh, you can go to iVolatility.com, CBOE, um, and you can. Uh, there's another guy that says that I get an email from him, and, and uh, I'll mention that in that video too, because I can't remember it off the top of my head. All right, let's take a look at the A-plus list. But anyway, the VIX, well, back to the VIX. The VIX is just not going anywhere. It's just, I mean, really, in reality, for the VIX to be trading between 17 and 15, uh, a little bit of an upside here, and that's the reason for the calendar. But uh, it's just been hanging around in here for so long. It's just it's getting boring and... And there's just not a lot of volatility out there for us uh, people at trade options. But we'll see what we can get. And that's why we kind of stick with these hot ones here. We're in Apple. Let's take a look at Amazon. Amazon's on a big run. Uh, we took advantage of it back here. Made some money. By the way, uh, November was a loser for me. 
and I'm not afraid to say it because you have some winners and some losers. I had one really good month a couple months ago, and I can absorb a bad month. Apple killed me on a trade in November, so uh, that's that. But no entry there on Amazon because it's running away. I do. Um, we were looking for one, if I remember right, but uh, it just didn't materialize. It may be ripe here. We may want to uh, take a kind of a risky trade here and jump in on this, depending on what it does today. But I'm not going to even put an alert on that. Chipotle, we got out of that one. Got I got a little nervous on that one, so we exited early on that one for uh, some profit last week. Not seeing an entry here either. We're down, 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 down. I'd like to see these up here come up here and give us an entry. So we're just going to wait on that one. Google, CRM, we're in. Google, we're in. MasterCard, we're in. Crazy price line. What do we got going here? I would not bet against this one in an uptrend. I would not bet against it. So we're waiting for a pullback and an a entry signal here. Panera, we're almost done. Oh, let's see, down, uh, not giving us an entry, up, not giving us an entry. So nothing with Panera either. And Panera, sorry, I didn't mean to make you dizzy or anything. Panera does not have weeklies, so I wish they did. You know, I would think that their volume and open interest would uh, justify them, but I guess the open interest, is, I guess it's not really all that good. And we do have kind of wide bid ass here, even at the money, so probably not the best one to go with, but it was in a really good trend here for quite a while, and now it looks like it might be rolling over. So I guess uh, another week of folly in Washington, as the people that are responsible for the citizens of the United States try to figure out how they're going to screw us again, I guess. So anyway, um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the time to watch these, and uh, happy trading.